The BBC has defended Laura Kunzberg, calling her interview with Sir Ed Davey courteous, fair and duly impartial despite some viewers' outrage over her comments. Last weekend, Laura enraged some by sarcastically saying, Ed Davey, congratulations, I suppose, on your more than 70 seats. Countdown star Carol Vorderman and other fans were irritated by Laura's use of I suppose in her introduction. These sentiments were echoed by many, with some even going as far as to call for her replacement by Victoria Derbyshire. One fan, in particular, branded the presenter as opinionated and often downright rude. However, BBC said her tone was in line with the fundamental part of her role as a presenter and journalist. They typed, across the program, the success of the Liberal Democrats was reflected a number of times, with Laura Kuntzberg reflecting, more of you voted for other parties than ever before and this election made history for all sorts of reasons and when you put the votes together, the smaller parties got their highest ever share of the votes. The interview with the leader of the Liberal Democrats was live, with an unscripted congratulations beginning the first question on the work that lay ahead for their 72 MPs. Laura's approach to every interview is to be courteous, fair and duly impartial. Viewers may have their own judgments about the tone and conduct of an exchange, but we believe our political guests are given a fair hearing. The host's questioning and delivery was in line with the fundamental part of her role as a presenter and journalist. This gives our audience an informed and impartial analysis of key political events, using her experience and judgment, they finished. The 47-year-old presenter interviewed Liberal Democrats' leader and began by explaining how the Liberal Democrats had ruthlessly targeting seats where the Conservative had held them. During her Sunday politics show, she added, This election made history for all sorts of reasons, and when you put the votes together, the smaller parties got their highest ever share of the votes. Laura added, Maybe it was the bungee jumping. Or maybe given that the Liberal Democrats want to change the voting system, ironically perhaps they just learned how to play it better by ruthlessly targeting seats where the Conservatives had held them. Introducing him, she said, Well, there he is, Ed Davey, the happiest man in Britain. He looked like he was there, celebrating winning more than 70 seats, and he joined us this morning from southwest London. Ed Davey, congratulations, I suppose on your more than 70 seats.